Okay, so I tried to find the best room in the house with the natural daylight, and I think I found it. This is what I look like in the daylight, in like the natural sun. The sun's kind of going down right now, so I don't know if you can tell. Um, I'm pretty much the same color as this foundation. I just don't like looking ghostly because that leaves room for flashback in pictures. That's why I always kind of go... Um, a half a shade up with my foundation. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's pretty big compared to my hand. Um, and then the wand applicator is just like the Shape Tape Concealer. So, let's see the color. Uh, I don't want to like put the wand on my face just in case I gotta return it. If I keep it, I don't want to get the, the rest of the stuff in here contaminated with anything. So, let's just use my finger. That actually looks like it might work. Hmm. Okay. I think for one side I'm going to use a brush and the other side I'm going to use a beauty blender and we're going to see how it all works out. I look a little pale. It's okay. Alright, it's a little too pale for me, but I feel like if I had went up a shade darker to the tan honey, that would have been too dark. I'm gonna bronze up, put some brows on, put some mascara on, and I'm gonna be back and we're gonna talk about this. Okay, so I'm back. Let's talk. Let's talk about this foundation. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at the color. I'm mad at the shade range, yes. Am I mad at Tarte? No. Um, I feel like maybe someone dropped the ball somewhere with the shade ranges. Maybe they really did have those other 10 in like the works. And it just, they weren't ready on time, so they had to release the first couple that they have now. And then they're going to release the 10, I think something about over the summer. They should have just waited, in my opinion. They should have just waited, they should have just waited, waited, waited. Instead of having all of this, like, drama behind the whole shade range. This whole, like, we're not going to use Tarte anymore. We're boycotting Tarte. We're F Tarte. I really feel bad for them. Um, but I do understand where everyone else is coming from with the whole shade range of brown and color skin. I'm brown. This shade is medium tan honey. It was kind of light for me, but I worked with it. You can tell I bronzed up. I put some highlight on it. I kind of covered it up. However, when I put the foundation on and then I put the concealer on, which the concealer, I am the shade light medium. It just looked like one. Like there was no really difference. If that makes any sense like there was no like variation of color it was just all one so like this could have just been my concealer I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna use it um do I love it no is it gonna be my go-to no am I boycotting tart no am I going to see what it's like when they come up with the newer shades yeah I'm gonna check it out am I gonna buy it mm, probably not I already wasted money on this I'm not gonna waste money on another one um should I have waited mm, probably but the hype was so real for it like, tell me not. The hype was so real for this foundation. I jumped on the bandwagon with it because I didn't jump on the bandwagon initially when the Shape Tape Concealer came out and I was like kicking myself in the butt for it because I couldn't find it for a very long time. Well, my shade at least. And then I finally did like months, months later. I want to say like a year later and then I love it. I love the Shape Tape Concealer so much. I was like, oh, I'm going to love the foundation. I went online the day that Tarte dropped it on the website, uh, I think it was like 7.30pm and I bought it and I was like yes, got my hands on it, I can't wait. The next day, didn't sell out, it's not gonna sell out, <laughs> we know why. Okay so it's been about 
three and a half hours now since I've had the foundation on and I'm not mad at it. It didn't oxidize into anything weird. It didn't move around. Um, it stayed in place. The only thing it like kind of went into my like my laugh lines here but to be honest to be truthful all my foundations do that because I like to laugh a lot but it's actually good. <sighs> I'm just so mad about the shade range. Anyway, I'm not gonna ramble. It did hold up. Um, you know, like I said, I didn't do a full glam and I didn't have it on for like eight hours. Like it wasn't a night out or anything. I didn't go anywhere where I could sweat or jump around or do anything crazy. So I'm just going off of me just wearing it um, for the past three hours, um, doing light activity and 